Dear student, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Dibudi? I hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I also fine, alhamdulillah. Today, I am going to take an online class for the student of class 9, Subject Islam and Moral Education, Chapter 5, Lesson 2, Topic The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Birth, Childhood and Adolescence. I am MD Abdus Salam, senior teacher in school, school and college, Papna. Look at the following picture. Can you see whose Raja Mabaro? Sacred chamber is it? The great prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Dear student, our today's topic, the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, part childhood and adolescence. Now, learning outcome. After this lesson, student will know about the detailed identity of Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, will know about the growing in a very adverse environment in his childhood. With be able to explain the unique examples of Holy Prophet's honesty, cooperation, and sympathy in his adolescence. The identity of Prophet Muhammad His name was Muhammad and Ahmad. His mother was Amina. His foster mother was Halima. His father was Abdullah. His paternal grandfather was Abdul Muttalib. His paternal grandfather was Fatima. His paternal grandfather was Wahab. His maternal grandmother was Barra. Now, the family tree of Prophet Muhammad Islam, which is started from Murra ibn Kaf and ended with Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Now, the tree from Ibrahim Islam to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the house where Prophet lived for 28 years. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is place. This is the Present situations of the birthplace of Prophet Muhammad Sallam. Born of Prophet Muhammad Sallam. Prophet Muhammad Sallam was born in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallam was born in the Christ tribe in 570 AD. His father died before his father. His paternal grandfather christened him Muhammad and his mother gave him the name of Dabat, baby Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The House of Halima Baby Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was brought up by his wife nurse Halima. Halima was a member of Banu Sad tribe and Banu Sa'd practiced the fairest of the Arabic dialects. Consequently, Baby Muhammad to acquire command over the fairest Arabic dialects. Example of justice and fair play are evident in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam right from his childhood. He used to suck a a single breast of his wet nurse Halima and reserved the other for Abdullah, son of Halima. Halima returned baby Muhammad to his mother Amina after rearing him for five years. The grave of Prophet's mother Amina, grave of Abdul Muttalif, grandfather of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
When he was only six, his father passed away. Now he became an orphan and helpless. His paternal grandfather Abdul Muttalib took him under his custody and care. And at his eighth year, his paternal grandfather too died. After that, his upbringing was achieved by his paternal uncle Abu Talib. This was the location of Abu Talib's house. The prophets of Allah lived here from the age of 8 to 25 years. Abu Talib, his uncle, used to rear him up with utmost care and affection. Abu Talib's peculiar position was insolvent. Having taken notice of this, Prophet Muslim started to work with his uncle's coverage sins. Muhammad was as a shepherd. He used to graze sheep. He was the best model for other shepherd. He behaved with them on friendly terms. Never would he engage himself in feud and quarrels with them. He went to Syria for trade at the age of 20 in the company of his uncle. On the way, they meet a friend named Buhaira, Bahira, who pointed to Prophet as an extraordinary boy and prophesied by saying this, this boy should become the Akhiri Nabi, last prophet of the final phase of time. This is the Monastery of Bahira. Right from his childhood, Prophet Muhammad Sallam, the great prophet was truthful and peace loving. On his return from Syria, he witnessed the ferocity of the war of Hijjah. This battle began in the forbidden month. A note here, Haram month, Arabic, Asharul Hurum, prohibited month, or sacred month, are the month that Allah ordered the people to respect in a special way. They include Muharram, Rajab, Jilqad, and Jilhas month. Since the time of Prophet Ibrahim Islam, it was forbidden to fight in those months. Moreover, the Qais tribe had unjustly imposed this battle on the Qais tribe. On account of this, it has been called the Harbul Fijr, unjust warfare. This battle lasted for five years. Hazrat Muhammad did not participate in this battle actively, but he had witnessed its horror. Many men died and still others were wounded. At this, his tender heart cried out. On hearing the wailing of the injured, he became restless and disturbed. As a peace-loving man, this disturbance didn't appear tolerance to him. So. He formed the helpful fusul 
peace organization with other peace-loving youth. The motive of this body was to serve the afflicted, resist the oppressor, help the oppressed, secure peace and order, and maintain peace among the tribes. Many peace missions of the modern age, including the UNO, are mostly indebted to this helpful puzzle of Prophet Muhammad Islam. They are also keenly striving to secure peace in society like the helpful fusul by ending warfare. The Arab of those days called Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi trusty for these noble qualities such as truthfulness, trustworthiness, justice, fairness, and sense of responsibility. Even those who had rejected him after his reception of prophethood could not accuse him of lies. Now the homework. Many peace missions of the modern age, including the UNO, are mostly indebted to this helpful fusil peace organizations of Prophet Muhammad wa Sallam. Explain. Allah Hafiz.